welcome back to Planet Novalis. Yay! But like I was saying, do you ever wish you could? There was just like a button you could press to skip through people's conversations with you if you find them boring. <laughs> oh fuck you! <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you you finding my conversation boring, MJ? <laughs> fuck you. I feel the same way about your friendship. <laughs> <laughs> you shithead. <laughs> same with you, skinny boy. Hey, I'm very luscious. <laughs> you should get a tattoo of that saying luscious on you somewhere. Or maybe... Make him sound like a porn star? Yes. Ben, become a porn star. Transform into a porn star! Holy shit! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ben. You wonderful, crazy. Yeah, you can upgrade your weapons to Eritanium. Yeah, Ben. Come on, get with it. You only have three splice spaces to upgrade. Splices. Three splices. You only have three splices. <laughs> but you gotta start at the green. Yeah, Ben. You gotta think about these things. Oh, I remember these. They're a little... Ah. Yeah, that's it, Ben. You massacre the nature of this planet. Those are robots, eh? Those are robots, Jules. Oh, I didn't know. <laughs> well, Ben. They are robots that look like animals. Bees? <laughs> Bees? Yeah. Bees. Okay, yeah, now that I see them, yeah, I can see them being bees. It's too bad they, uh, the fire doesn't spread. <laughs> you can just, like, set the whole planet on fire, Ben. Well, what will they do after, Jules? Did they you even rebuild. think about that? They <laughs> will rebuild. <laughs> and steal Nicolas Cage. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, if an alien civilization would like to steal Nicolas Cage, I would be okay with that. You should eat those random mushrooms. Maybe you'll turn bigger. Maybe... Maybe things will grow sexier when I watch this. I mean, or maybe rats will start having, like, hallucinations. Maybe, that, maybe that's what Mario is. He's just constantly taking <laughs> magic mushrooms and he's, you know, like... He actually is just a plumber in New York? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that would be... That That sounds like a creepy pasta or something. <laughs> that would actually be incredible. You know, that... I'm gonna give creepy pasta a little bit of credit here. That seems a little bit too tame to be a creepy pasta. Really? I don't know. Some of their stuff is really messed up. Yeah, some of their stuff really is messed up. The only one I've ever actually listened to it was um, it was called the Russian Sleep Experiment. Kinda Which uh, what's that one about? It's um, it was about um, like uh, a laboratory in in the Soviet Union that was trying to turn people psychic or something and it involved like oh my god this is like a depriving them of sleep. this is literally like the first <laughs> the first the, the original game but like so much better and he's dead <laughs> actually we'll probably listen to that for our paranoia uh, session which is something that we yeah did. something we started to do yeah uh, we look up videos on Mr. Nightmare and uh <laughs> Other YouTube things and um, giving good job, Mr. Nightmare. Yeah, <laughs> fucking great job. We love you here. Um, yeah, it's basically just us watching really creepy shit on the internet and uh, uh, freaking ourselves out over. Uh, and then we watch a movie. Yeah, and then yeah, and tonight we're watching The Shining. See, last week we watched. Uh, the Holy Grail, which was probably 
the smart thing to do. Freak ourselves out and then calm ourselves down. Yeah, the good old-fashioned comedy, and, uh... This time we're doing the exact opposite. Yeah. Well, you know, one half of this. So well, we're gonna make it worse is what's gonna happen. <laughs> oh, yes. That is what we are going to do. And Benjamin here has never seen The Shining. <laughs> we were going to. Yeah, it was going to play as a double bill at the Mayfair with The uh, Exorcist. But then uh, the assholes, um, I don't I don't remember what studio owns it, but whoever you are, you guys are fucking dicks. You made the Mayfair take it out of the theater because it is no longer in circulation in theaters. <laughs> Fuck you guys. Seeing The Shining on the big screen is like the best possible way to see it. Well, I have to say it, it's also probably because... Uh... They were doing, like, a special edition in, the in select theaters. Yeah. So, you know. Why don't you go see that special edition? Honestly, if they would do that, like, I would go see it immediately. But yeah, I, I mean, if it was in a theater that we had access to, but... <laughs> yeah, that's the sad thing. If it is happening, we do not currently have access to it. Which is... Really. This guy. <laughs> Skid McMarks. And he was from the original game too. Mm. <laughs> sounds like a. Sounds like the name of a porn star is into like. I remember this exact. <laughs> Yeah, it's basic. They change a little bit of things, but. <laughs> so you're having like a big nostalgia trip right now, right, Ben? Yeah. <laughs> uh, the characters in these games is also what made it. Yeah. Such a. This is this is great. <laughs> Something I wish I had in my childhood. This way, I could be freaking out with Ben over the nostalgia. Yes, and you could see how how much prettier it is from the original one. Although, if you were to play the original one, like if, let's say, I were to play the original one right now, I wouldn't care about the graphics. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing about Ratchet and Clank. It was such good gameplay. Like, the gameplay of this is pretty much how the original one was. Where the hell do I go now? Go back up. All right. Do you plan on getting the remake of Crash Bandicoot? Yes. Yeah. Because <laughs> I remember that being a really good game. That's yeah. a game where you can also forgive the graphics. Oh, yeah. Like, that game is just so good. I remember this exact... <laughs> <laughs> I remember at that one spot there, I remember being lost when I was a kid as well. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's also the other thing about Ratchet and Clank that I loved, is that the game was kind of linear, but not really. Because when you go to a planet, there's different paths you can take. And you'll have to do them all eventually, but you know. I hope they redo... What was the Ratchet and Clank game where the first level is you're on that planet and the monster it's literally like a slime planet uh I believe that was second yeah where it's like swamp yeah yeah the one where Captain Quark is hiding as the as the Bigfoot oh no that was three the first you mean the one with Dr. Nefarious the one there with, where where you get recruited recruited by that Einstein my character Remember at the start of the game, you're talking about your ratchets talking about. Yeah, I think you might be talking about the third one. Oh. Yeah, where uh, Captain Quark has the monkey. Yeah. Yeah. We should get a pet <laughs> monkey. <laughs> okay. And call him. Greg. 
Joyce DeWitt. <laughs> Who is Joyce DeWitt? She was the uh, other chick in Three's Company. Oh, yeah. Um, Janet? Yeah, Janet. There we go. <laughs> Julian, the one that Julian wants to make out with? I mean, I'd do her. Really? Good for you. <laughs> wow, fuck you, Ben. Why are you so salty lately? Oh, no. <laughs> God. <laughs> What's wrong with you? What did I do to you lately? You said that so perfectly. Well, good for you. <laughs> oh, Ben. Yeah, funny fucker. You know, I just realized that we... I remember we... this exact... <laughs> yeah, the plumber? Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is where he makes a reference to it being a re remake. That was a remarkably clean-looking sewer pipe. It's like the Goonies, uh... slide thing. Yeah. And the Goonies that, that you've only <laughs> seen, like... I know, Ben. I've only <laughs> seen it recently. Yeah, seriously. Like, lol, lol, freaking lol. You say <laughs> lol? Yeah. Rather than laughing out loud. I said lol. Do you have a problem with that? Yeah, kind of. He's a different generation than you, Jules. Talking about my generation. Oh, Ben, you earned a trophy. Good job. Proud of you. Thank you. But uh, this actually reminds me, MJ, I read the first book in a series that I think you should absolutely read. Uh, the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy? Yeah, heard that, about that. That is a goddamn good book. Like your luscious face? Yes. No, my face is... Um, we will see you back on Kawan. <laughs>